Why does the World Bank care about climate change? Well, because we care about reducing poverty in the world. And if you care about reducing poverty in today's world, you have to take climate change seriously. So, for example, more than 130 countries in the developing world have now asked the World Bank Group to work with them on the subject of climate change, both adaptation and mitigation. So, for example, if you look at the World Bank uh, YouTube channel, for example, I, I've got it right here, actually, you'll see lots of examples of what's going on. Here's a program in Morocco for renewable energy, concentrated solar power. At the moment, electricity flows south from Europe through Spain into Morocco. Five years from now, the electricity will flow north, and that will give revenues to Morocco and other countries in North Africa, which will help it to develop its economy in many other ways. And in over 90 countries in the world, we're working with those countries on helping them to adapt, because try as we might to stop climate change, it is happening and will happen, and we need to help countries to adapt. Go to Mongolia, for example. In Mongolia, you have extreme weather events in the form of extreme cold. They're called the Zud. Look here at some of these herders. These herders suffer very, very seriously. If it's very cold, their camels and their goats will die off. And that can lead them into a downward spiral whereby they enter poverty. One of the things that's most important is to give a social safety net. And here, one can use modern insurance. Private insurance companies are engaged with support from the World Bank to subsidize programs and to make them work so that if the temperature goes below a certain level, if a certain number of animals die, they get payments out. Here is um, Niger, an agricultural a country in the Sahel, very dry conditions. And what's happening at the moment already, but it probably will get worse, things are gonna get drier the soils are less predictable. What Niger has done is put together a plan that includes not only agriculture, but particularly gives focus to agriculture. And what it does, it, it looks at the entire agricultural process. It asks the question about how could new crop uh, systems be introduced. It asks the question, how could we put the right kind of trees and bushes? How could we do uh, investments in water retention and so on? Absent such programs, these farmers almost certainly in the years to come could not continue to be farmers. So these farmers know all about climate change today and of course this is just the beginning. All the nations of the world are gathering in Durban. And what they're trying to do is take forward different elements that will in turn eventually lead to a global deal. We need that global deal sooner rather than later.